everyone, welcome to your first week of the fall semester. Uh, I wanted to record this video for you so that you can find your way around and you can see what is due for our first week together. So what I'd like to do is start here on the welcome page and then from here uh, you can actually scroll down and you can see a little introduction, you can see a navigation video which really kind of shows you where to find everything. Um, and then if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see my office hours for the semester. You can also find these in the course introduction module. Um, but just so you know where to start. So when you log into your Canvas shell, you're going to see this page. And then from this page, you're going to scroll all the way over here to where it says modules. And you'll click on modules. And then what you'll do is you're going to start right where it says start here. So for our first week, what you'll do first is go through the course introduction module. And it's important to go through all of these pages for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that you do have a course introduction quiz. So it's really on all the information that you're learning within the module and within the syllabus that you received as well. So you will need to move through all of these pages in order to get to the next module. So if you are to a point where you think you got everything done, but then you can't click on any of the other things scrolling down, chances are you might have missed a page in the course introduction module. So you'll go through each one of these modules. That's the first thing you're going to do. And then there are two assignments within this module that you're going to complete for our first week. And they are due on Friday. Pretty easy 15 points. So student information survey is worth five points. And it really is just my opportunity to get to know a little bit more about you, for me to learn um, how you learn best and how I can best support you. So you're going to complete the student information survey and then you're going to move on to the course introduction quiz. Now this isn't a quiz to stump you or to trick you. Uh, you can take it as many times as you need to until you get a 10 out of 10. And you must get a 10 out of 10 before you can move on to the next module. So again, a couple requirements before you move on. See all of the pages, go through them, complete the course introduction quiz, get the 10 out of 10, and the student information survey. Once you do all of that, you're going to scroll down and then you're going to see all of our course resources. So this is where you're going to find your textbook. That's right, it is free and you do not have to buy anything. You can open this up and what you'll find is a PDF version of our textbook. You can download it onto your computer. Uh, you can save it, you can, if you'd like to print it, you can print it. It's a pretty big book, but that's totally up to you. Um, and this is what you're going to use to do your readings each week. You will also find how to get to my Zoom office hours. So you're going to look through here, see my uh, office hours for the semester, click on the Zoom link if you'd like to join me in any of those times. And remember, these are for you. These are uh, not just for me to sit there and look at my screen. I would love to see your faces um, if you'd like to ever join my Zoom office hours. So you're gonna scroll through the next one and this is similar to the course introduction module where you're going to have to view all of these in order to move on. So we also have uh, hotspots and uh, laptop loaners available to students who might need some support with getting some uh, of the technology to use for this course. So if you have any questions about that, there's information here, or you can also email me um, and I can support you in accessing those resources as well. Uh, the next link is to your success people. These are your success specialists, uh, the counselors specific to the School of Language Arts and Education uh, to support you with ed planning, to support you with any concerns regarding your success in school. So you're going to go through all of these pages. And then what you'll find, I'm going to actually go back out to module so you can see what where we are. So you finish course introduction, you finish 
finished course resources. And now you can take a peek at these. You don't have to, but these are your opportunity to connect with your fellow classmates. Um, these are not graded discussions. These are just ways for you uh, to say hi to each other, to share information, um, but not graded. I will check in um, if I see that people are posting in there. I will go and just check in and see if I can help with anything. Now, here are your week one assignments. So every week you're going to check in and I have due dates for the week one module so that you can see what's expected of you. It's not a graded to do, but it is something that you'll see on your to do list. So if we open up your week one objectives page, you're going to see a little welcome. You're also going to see this video and then you're going to scroll down, get a little bit of information about our course. Um, about what you're going to read and learn for the week. And then here is where you're going to really appreciate this information. So here are all the, the assignments that you have for week one, the point values, and the due dates. And then I just have a little section if you want to mark it off that it's complete. So you see that this week you have that student information survey, your syllabus quiz, and then in week one module, you're also going to find three other assignments. So your introductions, your play posit uh, lecture, and your quiz. So this is just an overview of the assignments, but let's jump into the actual assignments. So here you're going to see instructions for your Flipgrid introduction. It's now called Flip, but it's the same software. So um, I do have a tutorial on how to use Flip. A lot of students get really confused about how to use this for the first time. If you're familiar with it, awesome. Go ahead and go for it and post. If you're not, please watch the tutorial to support you in using this um, kind of program. Now, here is your prompt for your introduction. You will first read this article, and I know we've been online for quite a long time now, um, but I know there's still concerns that come up. So what I'd like you to do is after reading this article, I'd like you to first introduce yourself, your name, your pronouns. Um, I'd also like to, I'd like to see you share your experience with online classes. Is this your first one? Have you been online for your entire college uh, experience? Um, and then is this your first time in college? Um, or have you are you coming back after a long time? Um, are you excited? Are you nervous? So just a little bit of information about how you're feeling about the course. Um, and then also something about yourself that you want to share. This could be anything. Um, and then, of course, the biggest concern you have about taking an online class. So that's your initial post. And then what I'd like you to do is respond to two of your classmates about their concerns. So there is a time limit for all of these, about 45 seconds to two minutes. Um, but most people take about a minute to complete each post. So for any discussions, your initial post is always due on Friday, and then your responses, um, I require them in on Sunday. So I cannot wait to get to see faces and get to hear your voices. In an online class, it can be a little bit lonely, so I want to make sure that you all feel connected to each other and that you see that I'm a real person as well. So I will scroll down. This is where you're actually going to post your video. So you will see here uh, where you can add a response and start recording your videos. So let's go to the next assignment. Now this is the first semester that I've included a play posit study lecture in the very first week. And what I found from previous semesters is students really enjoy these videos. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to, um, you'll just see a play button. And when you press play, you're going to see uh, my video lecture and then every so often it'll stop and ask you a question about what you're hearing in the lecture. Um, you can open and close these as many times as you need to. You can do five minutes at a time. You can uh, do the entire hour, whatever works for you. Uh, but you will, it will be due on Sunday. So once you go through it, if you miss some questions, you can take it over as many times as you need to as well in order to get full points. 
Um, I also upload my PowerPoint slides that go along with the lecture so that you have them available to you as you are uh, doing the assignment. And then I just have some additional videos as well to support you and your learning. Your last assignment for the first week is you will take a quiz on the first chapter that you've read and the first lecture that you've heard. So between the lecture and the reading, um, my hope is that you feel prepared for this chapter one reading quiz, which is due on Sunday. Now for your quizzes, I do um, keep them open all week long. You can open and close them as you need to. Just don't click submit until you are ready and finished with the entire quiz. But if you save an exit, you can reopen and go back to where you left off. So again, it's open all week long. You can open and close it, do it as you have time to do it, and then just make sure that you hit submit by the due date. So uh, those are your assignments for the week. I hope this video was helpful in um, knowing what my expectations are of you and knowing um, how to do each assignment. So I hope you have a great first week and I can't wait to meet you all.